Hi everyone, this is Kasia Zmokwa from Digital Art Classes and in this clip I will cover the four advantages of non-destructive workflow. Ok, but before we will analyze the advantages of the non-destructive editing, let's firstly clarify what it actually is. So the non-destructive workflow is simply a process in which the editing software does not change the pixels within the digital photograph. So you may ask, how does it manage to change the appearance of the image? How does it manage to apply all these adjustments if it doesn't change any of the pixels in the photo? And the answer is simple. All the adjustments are stored in a text file in Capture One. So Capture One will always show you just a real-time preview of your adjustments and you will be dealing with variants. You will never actually see your original, your source raw file displayed in Capture One. The changes you make at this stage can be fine-tuned, increased, decreased, you can do whatever you like until you are happy with the final result. And once you finish working on an image, instead of saving it, as you would do in uh, pixel editing software, such as Photoshop, for example, in Capture One you export a copy in a pixel format. So in this scenario, I have created a black and white version of the portrait and several color grading options. Now, I can export any color variant I wish in the specific format and size needed. And moreover, I can get back to this very photo in the future, I can get back to it in a day, month or a year and simply create new versions of the image. I can tweak color grading, I can change anything I wish and once I'm happy with the results, I can again export these images in the format that I need and in the size that I need for the particular task. Okay, so now we are at the same page. Let's talk about the advantages of a non-destructive workflow. So the first of the four advantages is super fast and efficient workflow. You can really save plenty of time when you are working in a non-destructive way, since this sort of workflow allows you to copy and reapply complex adjustments with one click. This is really super powerful. If we, let's say, imagine this scenario in a context of 30 or 50 images, reapplying one's created style save us at least several hours of repetitive editing. So this is super, super important. The second advantage of a non-destructive workflow is superb image quality. And to take full advantage of a non-destructive workflow, I would advise you to always work with raw files. Setting camera to RAW instead of to JPEG means preserving more data about the image and this gives you more flexibility. You can do much more with the image in the post-production. You will have much more dynamic range to work with. So simply speaking, when working with RAW files, we are getting superb image quality because of the amount of data contained within a RAW file. Ok, let's move over to the third advantage and this is unlimited experimenting. Non-destructive workflow combined with styles allows you performing as many adjustments as you wish, so you can freely experiment. You can tweak these adjustments, you can create multiple versions of the same photo without compromising on storage space. Plus, no matter how wild and extensive your experiments are, you always keep your original file intact. Ok, the fourth advantage of non-destructive workflow is space saver. You can perform really advanced adjustments and create multiple versions of the same image without the headache of filling up the storage space on your hard drive. 
Okay, so these are the four advantages of non-destructive workflow. And now let's talk about the disadvantage because there is one as always. So the sidecar files where all your adjustments are stored in Capture One can only be read by that one particular software. So if you are using Capture One, all your edits are in a way locked in Capture One. The very same thing goes for Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. If you have files that you have edited in Lightroom, you cannot bring over these edits to Capture One. So they are somehow locked just for the very software. So if you stop using the very software and switch to another brand, you will not be able to see these adjustments anymore. So this is quite a massive disadvantage, especially if you are not fully convinced to the raw editor that you are using at the moment. So this is just to be on the safe side that whenever you are performing adjustments that you are really happy with, you should always save, you should always export your images, your best images as high resolution TIFFs and keep them on the side as a form of a backup. So just to keep the pixel version of your raw edits. And despite this limitation, and this is regardless if you are working with Capture One, Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, I would always recommend a non-destructive workflow as simply the most powerful and flexible way to high quality artwork. If you like the tutorial, you can check my full comprehensive course on Capture 120, link in the description area. Thanks for watching. This was Kasia Zmokła from Digital Art Classes.